In our lab, we are studying cancer from a genomics perspective. Cancer is a disease caused by mutations in the genome. Mutations in particular genes cause that the cells proliferate in an uncontrolled manner, creating a tumoral mass. Today, thanks to important advances in DNA sequencing technologies, we are able to sequence the genome of a tumor cell. And this way, identify the mutations that these cells have. In general, what we observe is that tumor cells accumulate large number of mutations. And in our lab, we are analyzing tumors uh, with the objective to identify which of these mutations are uh, directly implicated in the development of the tumor. Identifying these mutations and the genes that contain them is important for the development of uh, new cancer therapies. In particular, the proteins that are encoded by these genes are uh, possible therapeutic targets. And in general, all this helps us advance towards uh, precision and personalized cancer medicine. In our group, we develop methods to identify cancer genes. We exploit the fact that cancer genes show signals of positive selection due to the fact that mutations in these genes give the cells advantages that are selected during tumor, ev tumor evolution. We have developed two such methods in our group, one called Oncodrive FM, which identifies genes that exhibit an abnormal excess of high functional mutations. These genes are normally tumor suppressors. We have developed a second method called Oncodrive Clust, which identifies genes that tend to have mutations clustered in certain positions of the protein sequence. These genes are normally oncogenes. In the figure, the, uh, the panel in the top part of the figure represents one tumor suppressor detected by Oncodrive FM, and the bottom panel of the figure represents an oncogene detected by Oncodrive class. We have developed Intogen. Intogen is a tool that allows to identify from a list of mutations the possible impact on the protein's function and also the genes that may be the responsible for the formation of the tumor. We have analyzed data for more than 6,000 tumors and put the results in the web with the idea to keep these results up to date. Any researcher can analyze his or her data and with these results give support to the clinical decision making. Here on the screen you have a typical uh, data collection for a cancer study which shows all the genes in the rows and all the column on the columns contain patient samples. Such heat maps have always been used in biology to view experimental data, but they always have been static. Therefore, we have developed GI tools and GI heat map, which allow to visualize cancer genomics data in, in fully interactive heat maps. That means you can annotate, sort, order uh, the data in order to understand their context. So one of the last works that uh, we have performed in the group uh, has been the analysis of 3,200 tumors, 3,200 patients that corresponds to the 12 most prevalent uh, tumors in the population. And the novelty of this analysis has been that we have integrated these samples to find not only signals that are characteristic of one of these tumors, but also uh, we have been able to retrieve patterns that are common between tumors of different cancer types. Uh, at the end, the main result has been that uh, we, we have identified uh, 291 genes that are the ones that, when mutated, lead to one of these tumors. And on top of uh, giving us more, more insights on the biology of the tumors, uh, we, hope, uh, we hope that these uh, information uh, mainly will help us to develop novel therapies that will be uh, more specific to attack this specific mechanism that now uh, we are able to identify and at the end of the day to develop therapies that we hope that will be more efficient and more uh, safe for the patients.